Hi, welcome to the walkthrough for Chapter 3, Add a Switch, Part 2. In this exercise, we learn how to craft four different types of paper switches. We pick up where we left off from Part 1 using the example code on page 3-14 that causes the chibi chip to blink when the switch is pressed. If necessary, type in the code and load it onto your chibi chip. Don't forget to press the PROGUE button before clicking UPLOAD to let the chibi chip know to expect new code. First, we will make a pop-up switch. Turn your book to page 3-23, where you'll see a cartoon pointer finger on an arm. Separate the pointer finger template by cutting along the red line. Now cut along the red line of the pointer finger. Add a small piece of copper tape over the gray line, being careful to smooth out any wrinkles. Now fold the pointer finger along the dotted lines so that it can extend and shrink, like an accordion. Tape the folded pointer finger to the page. Craft the remainder of the circuit by placing copper tape over the gray lines, being careful to smooth out any wrinkles. Finally, add a circuit sticker at the spot indicated by the red triangular outline. Power on your chibi chip and clip it to the page. When you move the finger over the gap in the copper tape, the light will blink. Our next exercise is press the flap switch. Turn to page 3-25 where you'll see a picture of a boot. Again, separate the boot from the page by cutting along the straight red line. Then cut around the red outline of the boot. Lay the boot illustration side down so that you see the letter B and a gray line. Add a small piece of copper tape over the gray line, being careful to smooth out any wrinkles. Take the completed boot and tape the flap in the region marked B over the outline on page 3-27 that's also marked B. Craft the remainder of the circuit by placing copper tape over the gray lines, being careful to smooth out any wrinkles. Finally, add a circuit sticker at the spot indicated by the red triangular outline. Clip your chibi chip to the page. When you press on the boot, the copper tape on the back side of the boot shorts across the two pieces of copper tape beneath the boot. This completes the circuit, letting the chibi chip know it's time to flash the LED. Our next switch is a wind sensor. Turn to page 3-29 where you see George the flower. Separate George from the rest of the page by cutting along the red line and then cut along George's outline. Place George face down and lay several strips of copper tape over the gray lines on his back side. Be sure to smooth out any wrinkles. Flip George over and tape the spot near his roots, marked A, over the corresponding spot marked A on the wind sensor template. Take a moment to look at George edge on, to check that he's not curved the wrong way. Hmm, his belly is facing outward. This will make it difficult for air to push the copper tape on his backside onto the page. Fix this by curling George the other way. Roll him gently toward the page, but be sure not to crease or fold him. 
Let's check and see how George is curved now. Great, he's curved so that his coppery backside can easily make contact with the page underneath. Craft the remainder of the circuit by placing copper tape over the gray lines, being careful to smooth out any wrinkles. Finally, add a circuit sticker at the spot indicated by the red triangular outline. Clip your chibi chip to the page. Now you can test that the sensor circuit works by simply pressing on George and confirming that the light blinks. Before trying the sensor out, give George another light curl in the right direction. Then blow with a strong, quick puff of air. With any luck, the copper tape on his back will close the circuit and your light will start blinking. Our final switch is a pocket character switch. Turn to page 3-31 where you'll see a cat and a pocket. This switch has two parts, a pocket and a character, in this case a cat. Separate the pocket and cat from the page by cutting along the straight red line and then cut out the cat and the pocket. Next, with the cat facing up, add a strip of copper tape over the gray line just below the cat. Smooth out any wrinkles on the tape. Then, turn the cat over and roll the paper by folding on the dotted lines. The goal is to make the area with the copper tape thicker so that it can close the circuit between the two pieces of copper tape that will be underneath it. Craft the remainder of the circuit by placing copper tape over the gray lines, being careful to smooth out any wrinkles, paying particular attention to the copper tape that will be underneath the pocket area. Any wrinkles in that area will prevent the copper tape on the cat from making firm contact and closing the circuit. Tape the pocket down to the page. Any extra space between the pocket and the page might prevent the switch from working. Finally, add a bit of tape along the bottom of the pocket to keep the cat from falling at the bottom. Add a circuit sticker at the spot indicated by the red triangular outline. Check that the cat is folded correctly. The copper tape should be facing away from the cat, with all the rolled paper bunched up between the copper tape and the cat. It looks like this when you look at it edge on. Clip your chibi chip to the page. Slide the cat into the pocket. Once the cat is in the pocket, the copper tape of the back side of the cat closes the circuit, which causes the light to flash. That's it for the walkthrough of chapter three. Add a switch, part two.